Greetings, dear viewers! I'm Quill Quick Card and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. As I promised, we're starting off today's episode taking on the next gym leader. I've left Bernie in front. Now, apparently, this uh, gym leader's name is Schoolboy Liliana. I have left Bernie in front, simply so I'm leading with my strongest offense, uh, which seems to perhaps be slightly unnecessary, given that my first opponent is a Torchic. Okay, first opponent down. Who else you got? Okay, Kabutops quadruple weak against Grass. That's a very bad thing for Kabutops. Remember the last time we fought a gym leader and it actually destroyed the whole save? Yeah, I... I get the feeling that that's not happening this time? Hello, Dragonair. And you're paralyzed. And a citrus berry. I don't think this kills, and I think it gets it low enough that Byron's just gonna heal it anyway. Let's try a sacred fire. See how its damage compares to a Force Palm. Uh, yeah, that's more than Force Palm. This is enough to two-hit kill. And that is the sixth gem down. Schoolboy Liliana defeated. Just that simple. Now I can use Strength. So what TM do you give me? 91, which is... Crush Grip. Hmm. Not bad. I mean... Kind of some weird moves. Well, uh, if the pattern holds true, then I am about to get some kind of platinum exclusive event once I leave the gym. We're still trying to get Figlet powered up a bit, so we'll put him out front. Hey, hello, nuisance. Okay, we're going to the library. So far, this is normal. Or is this just going to be the same event where, you know, we end up having to go after the lakes? And where nuisance gets to prove once again that nuisance is a failure. Because truly, nuisance is a failure. Hello. Yes, yes, you study the evolution of Pokemon. Uh huh. Okay. You want info on the lake Pokemon? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm sure nuisance. Okay. Yep, and then a bomb goes off. 
They must have used one hell of a uh, bomb to be, you know, feelable from this far away. I, I mean, yeah, I, I see. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, bye. Sino Myth. Do, 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 do. No, that's not the one I'm looking for. Long ago, when Sinnoh had just been made, Pokemons and humans led separate lives. That is not to say they did not help each other. No, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. A Pokemon proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. It asked the Pokemon be ready to appear before humans always. Yeah, sure, that, that's probably how it happened. Uh, nope, not that one. Some of this mythology that you get is actually really interesting. The original story. A horrific myth. Sinnoh folk stories. Pick clean the bones of Pokemon caught in Theo's stream. Thank them for the meals they provide and pick their bones clean. When the bones are as clean as can be, set them free in the water from which they came. The Pokemon will return fully fleshed and it begins anew. There you go. Objective 100% proof. People eat Pokemon. As early as Gen 4, this was absolutely clear. Although, I must say, it was still alarming when I started playing Gen 4 and started just making sandwiches out of Lechonkam. Ah, good old nuisance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, let's head to the lake. If I can get through uh, enough today, we will be able to access Route 216, 217, Acuity. Uh, we're heading to Valor now. Those are all new locations where I may be able to capture new Pokemon once more, which would be really really great. Don't get me wrong, I have an extremely good team right now. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before I go, I actually should stock up on healing supplies again. Uh, my supplies ran low last time, and I absolutely do not want to get caught anywhere without a good supply of, let's say, 20 full heals. Uh, let's say 30 hyper potions. There we go. And 49 max repel. There we go. Figlet is still the weakest one on my team, but I'm still going to leave it out front because there is still a decent chance that it will end up on my final team. I mean, I am six gems in at this point. No, I'm not... <sighs> Not gonna waste my time fighting these weak wild Pokemon. Uh, Bernie and Brady, assuming nothing happens to them, are almost unquestionably going to be going to the Elite Four with me. Uh, especially if we find some better moves for Brady.
All right, Lake Valor. From this point on, we can cat we can get a new encounter if at all possible. These poor Magikarp. You know, Magikarp. We may think of them as like, you know, kind of weak and pathetic, but I would like to point out that the Magikarp. Among all things that presumptively lived in this lake, are apparently the only ones who survived it. Which is really impressive. You are weak against poison. Haha. Uh -huh. A reflect barrier. Impressive indeed, but I think you still die to the poison. Yes, you do. Good. And your other one is a pseudo wudo, which should die to surf. Once I get uh, the HM for waterfall, I can replace surf on my more physically inclined Pokemon. Okay. I. <laughs> Even Team Galactic has no use for Magikarp. You know, I really feel like if you could just make an army of Gyarados, you'd actually be sitting pretty, so... I'm surprised everyone jokes about how useless they are. I mean, there's so many bug keepers out there, and their Pokemon barely are better than Magikarp and evolve only slightly before. So, really, there should be just people out there in this world just actively screaming from the mountaintops the benefits of Magikarp. Okay. Hello! Yeah, I am I am really not worried about you. Um You and Pokemon are level 33 and I am level 43. So, I don't see this going well for you. Oh no. Wow. Good move, Drifloon. Okay, be aware. Drifloon no Seed Flare. Togekiss. You are not a fairy type, so you are not weak to poison. Still got two more generations to go, Togekiss. Oh my god, you have Grass-type moves, too. What is with you guys? Stop picking on Figlet. That's another down. Scyther. You're making me nervous. Come on, Brady, and hope it doesn't have X-Scissor. Nope, just ingrain. Well, how do you like being judged by the wrath of God? Yeah, not very fun, is it, Scyther? Hmm, you're still alive. You tanked that hit like a champ. I am impressed. Let's just cut your HP in half. Oh, you jerk. You little jerk. Wow. This should kill. 
There we go. I think you still have one more, right? Meta oh! Okay, alright. Big boy now. Uh, Bernie, would you mind handling that, please? This will probably hurt a little bit. Uh, unfortunately for you, you are weak against fire. And done. Oof. Yikes. That was a rough one. Yeah, it's fine. Just top off everything. I really do hope that Figlet gets to learn some other really cool moves. Hello. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey man, you want to fight me? So, what is your secret identity? Of course, I know who you are. You're Trainer Bob! How could I have... How could I have not known that you were, in fact, secretly Trainer Bob? Illumise shouldn't be much of a threat. Okay, my ability is suppressed. That's no threat. Extreme speed kills. Good. Level 44. Wheezing. Okay. So, how are your stats distributed? Wheezings are usually pretty tanky. Oof. That did not do much at all. Will I have any better luck with Surf, or are you just universally bulky? No, okay, Surf did better. That second head seems utterly uninterested in the fight. Salamance. Okay. Okay. How much damage do you take from an extreme speed? That is, like, a proper last Pokemon for your team to have. Ooh, Pursuit. Okay, let's get out of there, then. Um... Bernie really doesn't have anything good against you. Brady can Super Fang in Judgment, at least? Yep, I know. Take the Pursuit damage as I switch. I calculated it. It was still enough to survive. Plus, that means Brady gets the clean switch. Oh, you had a Citrus Berry, did you? Okay. That's gonna hurt. And you have Pursuit. So, let's assume that Pursuit could drop me by about 40 damage. Um, you're still running... Attack higher, but not high enough that I want to swap out. Maybe Judgment will kill. Okay, that's a problem. That could kill. <sighs> Shit! 
we lost Brady. I just lost what was probably my second strongest Pokemon. I worked so hard to get that thing, too. Oh my god, you're still not dead. I'm really upset. That thing was, uh really important and now I've lost it freaking hell <sighs> damn it freaking damn it all right, my next location is over here at Lake Verity, but... First... We have to say goodbye... ...to Brady. Guess you're on the team again, Larry. Goodbye, Brady. Uh, a refresher on Larry. Larry has the guts ability, uh, really high special defense, pretty middling everywhere else. Moves aren't bad. Power Whip, Earth Power, Surf, and Strength. It's just, it's just not up to snuff with the others on the team, and I'm really disappointed right now. Freaking Salamance. Freaking Salamance with Overheat. That is so disappointing. Okay. Let's head to Twinleaf. And let's head to the lake. <sighs> oh, that sucks. Hey, Ron. Sure, I'll help you. Why not? Oh, God, that sucks. I know Brady didn't have the best moves, but it was okay. Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah, let's go from a Salamance to an Unown and a Buneary. Yeah, that... that sounds reasonable. Hmm. Fun thing! Um, if you have played... Um, Pokemon Legends Arceus all the way through to the end then you're probably familiar with how the move Judgment works. Where, you know, uh, if you're holding the, uh, uh, the Legend plate, then uh, Judgment will change type to something that, if possible, is both super effective against your target and also resists one of their types. 
and then attack. What you might not know is that in Pokemon Legends Arceus, the move Hidden Power actually does the same thing. The move Hidden Power will change to whatever your opponent is weak against. It's really cool. Yeah, sure, Surf, why not? I am still really upset about that Salamance with, uh, with Pursuit and Overheat. That thing was a flawless trap. Uh, Altaria, sure. Maybe, maybe Bernie will wake up and use Fly. What do you think, Monkey King? You gonna help me out today? No, you're you're too busy taking a nap, huh? Energy Ball should hurt a little, but shouldn't kill. <sighs> well, I I will say. I think, I think losing Brady did not hurt quite as bad as when I lost Monkey. So, at, at least there's that. Losing Monkey, oh, that, that hurt. Alright. Uh, actually, we still have some Awakenings, interestingly enough. Let's heal up. Let's keep going. Larry, your job is to sit there and, if necessary, be a sacrifice for a switch. Okay, so, what's next in this duo? Bum bum ba da 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 dun da 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 dun da 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 dun dun. All right, who do you got? A why not and a gold duck. Interesting. Uh, let's take down that gold duck. I don't know why I didn't split my attacks like that. Leaf Blade was always going to kill it. But we might as well leave the Why Not up. It's not going to have the base stats to be a threat to me. No matter what moves it has. Level 53. Wants to learn Pluck. I mean... Oh, this was the gen where Fly became base power 90. Yeah, definitely not. Give up on Pluck. Chingling. Alright, another non-threat. Strength the Why Not, Sacred Fire the Chingling. one down. We are now back to 2v1. Okay. And your last Pokemon is Anita Reno. Anita Reno with Drizzle. Uh... Yeah, more fire. Why not? All that leaves is the boss, and honestly, who knows what they are. I mean, we've already had to take down the insidious trainer Bob today. Jacqueline and Joe are beaten.
One quick top off, because I can. Hello. Oh, we can finally surf in this water, too. Hi! How are you doing? You claim that you are Mars of Team Galactic, but I know your true identity. You are, in fact, Trainer Cammy. Oh, you've got a legend. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, that did not do much. Does Surf do more? Not by a lot. And if that in prison had hit, I wouldn't be able to escape. Okay, Psycho Cut, slightly boosted. Okay, that was a crit. So we're fine as Elf is down. What else do you have? Oh my god, is that the one that you just stole from this lake? I think this lake is supposed to have Mist Spirit, but... Yeah, that, that is my interpretation. Okay, you got Whiskash. Let's let Bernie take over. Your levels are very quickly catching up to mine. A Whiskash with Flamethrower, I see. So you're not just uh, representing earthquakes as natural disasters anymore, huh? And boom. All right, that's two down. What's your last Pokemon? And it better not be a freaking Saddlemance, I swear to God. Mothim. Mothim dies to Sacred Fire. Goodbye, Mothim. May your death be swift and painful as penance. All right, Trainer Cammy is beaten. Which means that I can start heading toward the icy areas. Yeah, sure. Whatever. It, yeah, sure. You're like, ha ha ha. We caught Mesprit. I'm like, no, no, you, you, you had Azelf. Oh, what's happening at the lake? Uh, is Newson safe? Uh, look, I'll summarize it for you quickly. No. No. N Newson's is having a terrible time because he is, in fact, nothing more than a nuisance. Uh, we already caught... Well, we already did a Pokemon check in this location at the start of the game. But there is an item drop. Okay, Razor Leaf. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. A perfectly reasonable grass type move. Nope, nothing interesting in the cave. All right. Then it is time. Up into the mountains, our goal is to route 216 and 217. I am going to reach and get an encounter on route 216 before I end this episode. I need to see if I can find something that might potentially be able to replace Brady as a big hitter on the team. Stay calm. Stay focused.
Please tell me I'm not going to need both Rock Smash and Strength to get through here. Okay, this area has fog. <sighs> Freaking hell. Alright, lo looks like I really do need to take, uh, to take Last Hope with me then. Just to be my little HM slave. How obnoxious. D whatever, we can speed through this, right? We know what we're doing. Yep, last hope, you come with me. Then we deposit Larry. All right, let's hurry back. Come on. Oop. There we go. See, no time at all. Yeah, 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 strength. Thank you. Is there an item drop this way? Yes, there is. It's an ultra ball. No, we're not letting repels wear off right now. I do have this random regular level repel, though. Might as well use that up. This episode does not end until I get my Route 216 encounter. That is the rule. There, break the rock. Nest ball. We're in Mount Coronet. We've already gotten our encounters in Mount Coronet. Come on. Come on. Speed through. Speed through. Thank you. Power herb. Sure, why not? Alright, there's a way up there. Timer ball. It's okay for an item drop. Thank you, last hope. Thank you, last hope. Armor fossil! Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Where is the fossil guy in this game? Is it just down at the Orberg? Uh, Orberg Museum? Oh, whoa, holy crap! Armor and root fossils in the exact same location. That's kind of cool. Uh, any other item drops here I need to be aware of? I think I got everything. This is new. This room absolutely does not exist in Diamond and Pearl. Okay, we're at 216. There's some grass. Let's get our encounter. And our encounter for root. 216 is going to happen as soon as my repel wears off. Come on. Alright, what are you? Bronzor! That's a Gen 4, and I haven't caught one yet this seed. That means it's valid. 
It is absolutely valid. Unfortunately, it does have hail. So by default, it will damage itself. But it does evolve. What? What level does Bronzor evolve again? Bronzor evolves level 33. So we can evolve it with a single level up. Well, we don't know if you're going to be useful or not. So we're going to call you Gamble. Well, that's as far as we are going today, my dear viewers. I need to level up Gamble once, see what it turns into. And I will see you all on the next one.